Graham, lovely to see you, Sir Graham. How was the trip over on the ferry? Oh, just the same as always. My friend, it's a very, very, um, very nice weather out there, beautiful. Water's like glass, but I didn't have my glasses, Sir Peter. And you left your phone behind? That's the first time I've done that for a long time. And the reason we're here, because I love sails, because it's, you can hear yourself talk. I've invited you here for a reason. We've got a game coming up at Eden Park very soon, mate. On the 21st of March, Saturday, the Warriors will play, the, they'll play the Raiders, and then the Blues are playing the main game. I think that's great for sport, to see the two codes. When I first got involved in rugby league, rugby wanted nothing to do with us, we were taboo, and to see the game coming so much better, where we can work together for the betterment of sport, I think it's fantastic. What's your view on that? Yeah, I think it's good. You know, I just think, um, quite frankly, I think kids should play sport. Um, so I don't mind if they play your sport, Sir Peter, or they play my sport. You know what? That's why I love you. You're so wise. I think it's great. But you know what I'm so pleased about? Bowden Barrett's quite a good friend of mine now. What do you think of Bowden Barrett coming to the Blues? Like he's probably the best back in the world. That's a big statement. But he's a, he's a very talented rugby player. Can play 10 or 15, first 5'8 or fullback. Um, hell of a good boy, hell of a good man. He is a bloody good guy. Yes. I've got to know him personally. I brought, I went to a hospice function and I brought, have a meal with him. And I tell you what, that's sort of bonded our friendship, but he's just a lovely guy. He's just a very humble guy. Yeah, so he's, he's very highly respected. Yeah. Not only as a rugby player, yeah. but as a person. You know, he's well-rounded, he gets on well with people. He, you know, uh, he's great for promotion of the game, because he's such a top individual. And mate, me and the Warriors, oh God, the ribbon fell off. Me and the Warriors, we've come up with a little present for you for Sir Graham. For oh, Christmas. Thank you, thank you, Peter. Thank you. Collector's item, to be fair. Thank you. Do you want me to open them? Oh, it'd be nice if you could open it. Okay, okay. I don't want you giving it to someone else wrapped up. Well, we'll see what it is. I'm sure it'll be wonderful. When we go kayaking, oh, look at that. When we go kayaking, look you can that. wear that cap. Really? Yes. I've got a big head. Yeah. Big I'm, head. I'm not going to mention that. Yeah, no, I mean no. That's absolutely magnificent. Big head. Oh, look at that. Warrior shirt. I'm modelling it. I'm modelling it here. Looks, fan oh, oh, oh. Looks fantastic. Yes. Ah, uh, well, believe it or not, in return. You're joking. Senior night? No, no. But I've got a t shirt for you. Oh, lovely, mate. Lovely. Oh? Um, I don't mean to be rude, Sir Graham. This is actually a polo shirt. It's a oh. polo shirt, mate. Right. Okay, okay. Thank Looks you for like... correcting me in front of the cameras. Um, I might have to lose a bit of weight because it's an XL. Well, that'll be good. But I'll wear that with pride. You're telling me you're going to be biking and kayaking? I'm going to Waiheke and I'm going to be getting super fit. Because, you know, I am the 19th Vodafone warrior and you never know when they might call me up. So I've got to be on standby. I think you're up for every game, aren't you? Oh, you're a great man. Uh, you're up for every game, I've been told. To sport. The number, the number one Warriors supporter. And a very good rugby supporter, I might add. You know what? I don't like that number one supporter, because there's so many good people. Well, 19th then. I'm the 19th voter for Warriors. OK, yes. OK. Yeah. How would you like to be? Can we see the menu, please, waiter? Hello. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that the wine list as well, Pam? At Sir Graham, but I don't. I'm I don't a think so, not sample. today. Uh, could you tell me, is there crayfish? Of course. Are they big, meaty crayfish? They're not big, but they're meaty. 600 grams. Mm. Now, mm. Graham, I'm excited. That would be great. Yeah. Should have happened. Yeah. Oh, it's been going on for what? Too long. 30 years now? Yeah. Yeah. When did the Warriors first start playing NRL? 25 years ago, I think. I think 25 years ago. Yeah, it wouldn't be 30 yeah. yet. 
you know, I got involved in Ponsonby Rugby, a couple of other rugby clubs, uh, university. That's where I met Grant Fox and that, those blokes. Um, we've come a long way, oh, you know. Sure. And no, I think people see the value of sport. Yeah. It doesn't matter what yeah. the code is. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, I even got involved in the Warriors two or three years ago. Yes. Try, try to help in a in a small way. Now, what are we going to have? What are you going to have for lunch? You I want some bread to start with? I don't think I need bread. Okay. But, uh, I might have some oysters. All right. Uh, oh, there's a there's a beautiful, there's a fantastic choice, eh? There is. Fantastic choice. Are you having Are you having a starter, Pete? I certainly am. What are you having? I'm having the uh, oyster. Do you have? Uh, excuse me, sir. Do you have oyster Kilpatrick here? Yes, we can do that. Please. Good. Could I have a dozen oyster Kilpatrick? Yeah. How, how? What other ways? Just natural and. Uh, we do a bad sir, so or natural. I'll have natural, eh? Thank so you. Half a dozen, or you'd like a dozen? Half a dozen would be good. A dozen? Well, make a dozen. I don't want to. I don't want to be embarrassed by him. Then I'll have the flounder, please. Flounder, sir. Okay. Get us all great. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, lovely, mate. Let's take a quick photo of my lunch, Sir Graham. Why would you want to do that? Oh, I've got to share it with Mike. You're not, you're not, you're not into uh, social media, are you? No, no, no. Yes. No. Can I just say to you, bon appetit. Yes. Yes. Enjoy your food. Lovely. Well, that's what I just said to you in French, France, French. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> All right, then here we go. Here we go. No? Fantastic, you need it. <laughs> Sir Graham, I reckon Carlos Spitzer would have made a good rugby league player. No. You don't think so? No. I well, I've got. Can I have an opinion? Can I'm, I have an opinion? I'm up. Go now. Can I have an opinion? Yeah. I don't think he'd be a good enough defender. Yeah. But yeah. he could prove me wrong. It's about attack as well, Sir Graham. As well, attack. You don't score tries unless you attack, and of course, you stop tries by defending. So it's a balance of both. You see. So you might have a player that's good at an attack, but you have another player that's good at defence. What about Bone and Barrett? Would he make a good league player? I think those natural footballers, and Carlos was a natural footballer, um, and I guess if they played the game, they would have concentrated on their ability to defend and make the make the tackles and so on. Yeah. But they're both world class players, world class athletes. Yeah. You think there's any warrior players that would make a good rugby player? Well, two, two of us in Czech played rugby at school and they tried to contract him out of school. I think they saw him as a, saw him as a future All Black. I'm sure there's a lot of guys in both See, codes. See, here again. In both codes who could... Um, like like Bowden Barrett. Who could play well. Like Bowden Barrett. He's an exceptional man as well. Mm. Lovely person. Who are you thinking the Warriors right now would be a good rugby player? I have to give that a bit of thought, really. Yeah, that's a hard one, mate. You think Stacey Jones would have made a good league player? Good rugby player. R rugby player, yeah. He had great awareness, didn't he? Yeah. Like he 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 had a good feel for space and beautiful. Um, so I think as a nine, as yes. a halfback, yeah. he would have been good, really good, because he's he's gifted. Yeah. He's probably one of the best warrior players ever, isn't he? I think so. I think so. Mm. Graham, one of the things I want to ask you today is how do the Blues and the Warriors come back from an average season? And they were average, both teams. I mean, you're one of our more successful coaches. 
I won't go with all the details, but I think your success rate with the All Blacks was 85%. You were outstanding with the Blues. You won bloody awards. You know, so how do we, how do those teams overcome and come back from that? Well, I, I really think that they've got a. I think the players need to have a, a greater say in what's happening. Yeah. And you know, I'm I'm a great believer in having a very clear purpose and a, a set of behaviours to achieve the purpose. Yes. Which is called a culture. Yes. And culture is used all the time, and I don't think people know what it means. So it's about a, building a spirit yeah. in a group of people. I think. Well, can I just say, for me, if you say culture, I think of history, you know, like behaviour and that sort of thing, you know. So tell us what culture is in your book. Well, it's, as I said a minute ago, it's a set of behaviour, so it's about, as far as the All Blacks were concerned when I was there, it was about being humble. Yes. And realising that you weren't the finished product, that you could always get better. And what did that look like? You know, um, so that was important, you know, striving for self-improvement yep. and being measured on that self-improvement uh, was doing what you say you were going to do. So you've got a program of self-improvement, actually putting it into action and getting other people to assist you in that self-improvement program. Um, it was about team first yep. rather than self first. And understanding the history of the, the team that you play in, you know, the history of the Warriors, what it means, what it means to the community, history of the All Blacks, what it means, uh, great players who've played in the, in, in the team in the prior, great players who've played in all position, filling up that jersey more than it's ever been filled up before, being solution focused, yeah. team driven, and, I, and then you've got something that you can build on and get better. You know, and, and that's on the wall. It's there, everybody to see all the time, and it's constantly referred to. And you're constantly trying to live those set of behaviours to, to achieve what you want to achieve. It's about, this is about a self-improvement culture. When it's a process thing, getting better all yeah. the time, um, I think they've got something they can relate to. Yeah. And it takes takes away the the only emphasis on the result on Saturday, right? Yeah. And it can be the mental skills of the game, the mental well-being of the players, which I think is probably pretty crucial for both the Blues and the Warriors. I think they're quite vulnerable kids, and if they don't have success, they get under pressure, and so. What have they got to fall back on to help them through that pressure? Yeah. Those sort of things, and I, um, that's what I think needs to be done for both teams. But, you know, maybe I'm an old hat. There's nothing wrong with being old hat. Can I just stop you for one minute, Graham? You can. That's what I need to catch. I need to get some flounder. And Blackpool, and I've got a spear and a torch. Can you hold that plate up? Just hold it up. That's it. There we are, Butcher. Look at that. Fantastic. Thank you, mate. Um, I'll give you a lift back to the wharf as well. Are you going back to Waiheke or? No, I've got my car here. Oh. Bon appetit.